Hi there, Dr. Scott Martin here. Today we're doing um, turning a baby with breech presentation. So this means the baby is not the right way inside the belly. The baby's head's facing up or to the side as opposed to engaged in the cervix. The best time to perform moxibustion on bladder 67, which is the traditional Chinese medicine treatment for turning breech presentation, is between 34 and 36 weeks of pregnancy. Lots of studies have been done to say that yes, it does what it's supposed to do. And this is what we're going to demonstrate for you today. So this is for women who've got big bellies and they can get their husbands to do it for them because that's a lovely and wonderful thing to do. So the main thing we need to use here is uh, a moxa stick. There's different types of moxa stick. This is the one I like to use. Uh, moxa is actually bergamot. It's one of the oldest medicines in the world. And if you're wondering what bergamot is, uh, it's what they use to flavor Earl Grey tea. But it's also a wonderful Chinese herbal medicine. So, you pull off approximately one inch of this moxa stick. Peel the end of it off, so it's nice and open. You're gonna light it up. You need to light it up like it's a cigar. Don't know how many of you have actually smoked a cigar, but that's the, uh, the way it's done. It's not the fastest lighting thing in the world, but it does get done. Blow on the end of it. Make sure that it's all glowing properly. Now, to be honest, this stuff smells like bad marijuana, okay? Um, if you're best off doing it outside, your neighbors might be thinking that you're uh, smoking something that you shouldn't be, but uh, that's all right. In fact, you put it on my face. Uh, when I was studying um, with my teacher in Cronulla, he used a lot of moxa in his clinic. And um, we'd have the police come up every month to, uh, hello, hello, what's going on here? And we always found it very amusing, but they did not. So we nearly got this lit. As you can see, it is a bit of a pain. How's the smell? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. It's kind of herbal. Do not smoke this stuff. Okay, so we can see the end of it. Glowing nice and red now. All right, we're ready to go. Okay. So, at this point, come closer. You can see a little red dot on the outside of the toenail here. This is the last point on the bladder channel. It's the 67th point, it's called Zi Yin. And we use what's called chicken pecking grain technique. So, rest your hand on something. Now, it's gonna get hot. As soon as it gets really hot, you go, yep. I'm gonna put it near it. When it's too hot, let me know. Yep. Take it off, give it a second or two's rest. Do it again. Don't touch your wife's foot, you will blister her. Yep. Don't think that she can handle more, you will blister her. Yep. Like every other occasion, do what she says when she asks mm -hmm. to avoid further trouble. Yep. So you wanna do this for three to five minutes. Yep. On one toe. And then, this is just for demonstration purposes, and then come around and we do it on the other toe at exactly the same point. Yep. 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 Gets warm, doesn't it? It does. Yep. So this burns at about 400 degrees. This is good for demonstration purposes. So, you wanna burn about an inch of this, okay? And you can do that either once or twice a day. Studies have suggested there's no actual difference between whether you do it once or twice a day. 
I do recommend doing it outside, however, because it will make your house smell and it, it does tend to linger. Um, important thing is to, don't, don't burn it. When you're putting it out, you've really got to put it out, okay? This is, it's like a cigarette. If you don't put it out, it'll burn all the way through and you'll lose it. So, really extinguish it. When you've done that, hold your hand over the end of it. If you can still feel any heat, it's still lit. Can you feel any heat? No. Oops. Oh, it's fine a bit, yeah. Yeah, it's still a little lit. So you saw how well I put that out, and it's still a bit lit, so. good and it's out. So that's how we use moxibustion for turning um, breach presentation for expected mothers. So that's the technique, that's how it's done all around the world. I think the main variation is uh, what kind of moxa stick that you use. Um, I'm Dr Scott Martin, thanks very much for watching and don't burn your wife's toes.